Welcome to Digging with Deej. It's a damp, chilly day, but it's only 40 degrees, so I'm taking advantage of it. I thought we would go to the Gothic Victorian farm and see if we can find the dump. So I'll get back to you when we arrive. Woohoo! Coin star score! Okay. I am in the woods that goes next to and behind the Gothic Revival Victorian farm. And I see remnants of a stone wall here. See? Or a property line edge with stones. So let's see what we can find. We're looking for the old dump. Try not to move too fast to make give you uh, motion sickness here. <laughs> That's still alive, that tree. Huh. Growing along the ground. some nature. I think those are puffballs. I don't think those are mushrooms. I think they're puff baby puffballs. Okay, let's squeeze through here. You see, there is a definite line of stone here. I'm using my thick photo stick. And the ground is not frozen here. Good size tree. Okay, this. I don't know. I am not going to climb under that. That's all broken stems just leaning up on another limb, a live limb. We're going to go this way. You have to be careful, even going for a walk out in the woods. You know. Just for a nature walk. Trees can fall on people. They just do. It happens. I had... Let's see. Who was it? It's either great-grandpa or great-great-grandpa's brother. Was walking home from the Civil War to the Bailey, Michigan area. A storm rolled through. He was five miles from home and a tree fell on him and killed him. And here, how ironic. You survived the Civil War and then only to have a tree fall on you on your walk home from the Civil War. So somewhere out there, I have relatives that were related to him because he had a wife and possibly a child. But I've never been able to find them in 40 years of research. So, but this all happened in Michigan. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get through here. Let me get back to you. Okay, look at this. I think this used. To, I now I'm starting to think that. Not only was it a property line, but I think it was the edge of a stream that used to go through here a hundred years ago. Because, look at that. That's been cut. And this is raised up almost like it was a man-made bridge. Lots of picker, thorn bushes. Lots of thorn bushes. But there is a definite ridge there. See, that's where I just walked through the natural bridge. It's a definite ridge. It goes all the way along there. I'm gonna walk on this side. This side looks clearer. Uh, I think it's the 13th or the 14th of December. Because of the tree lichen. And more mushrooms. This definitely has not been touched in a while here. So 
So far, no sign of a dump. Just that ridge line that I think is the edge of a uh, stream, an old, old stream. Now here's where the property owner cut a path through. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful sculpture. It looks like it fell off the base. Huh. I don't know if that was here or if the owner put it here. He collects antiques, so. Nice cut path. He offered his, uh, it's like an outdoors cart. Like a golf cart only for outdoors, you know, like a work cart. I said, no, I think I'll just walk. There's another one. He must have put these here. They're beautiful. These are old. Look at that. Gorgeous. An angel, a cherub holding a harp with the cape down one side. Beautiful. Let me show you this. It's another cherub. Okay. There's the groundhog hole. Whoa. Almost fell. Look at that. Another cherub. Looks like he has a paintbrush in his hand and a palette in his other hand. Cool. So, one of the owners, I think, put these here. What is that? Oh, it's a duck. Look at that. A duck in a pond. <laughs> you set him up. Duck in a pond. Let's see. I see a big pile of brush back there, but I don't know if that's new or old. Let's walk back there and check. That's new there. That's not it. That might be it right there. There's tires. Tires right there. Great big long piece of metal there. Let's walk in here. There's your rubber. It might be an old inner tube to something. Oh, chimney stack. There's the square blocks to the inside of the chimney with the brick on the outside still. Hmm. It's a good size hill here. It's a big mound. I think this is it. Looks like part of a smash bucket. There's a motor. There's chunks of metal and aluminum sticking up all over the place. I'm even standing on part of the mound. Tires. This is definitely the dump. And it goes way down the hill here. So this whole thing here looks like a big pile. What's that? That's plastic, so that's not old, old. 
up. Let's see if I can get through here. There's a lot of vines. Whoa. Slickery. Great big tractor tire with the axle. There's the other tire on the other side. We definitely found the dump. I don't see any glass sticking out anywhere. Only metal right now. Nope, there's some old wallpaper it looks like. That might be from 50s, 60s. But they usually, most dumps that I've found, somebody started it a long time ago and they just kept each owner added to it and added to it and added to it. This is way back at the back 40. But it's big. It goes from there all the way over. There's even another mound there that I haven't even checked yet. So far, it was either glass or porcelain I saw on the other side. What's that? That's heavy. That feels like a cooler. A cooler lid. Hmm. Let's see. How do I get over there? Hmm. I don't know. There's a groundhog hole or something, some kind of den right there in the middle of the mound. There's more buckets over there. See that bucket right there? I don't know how to get down there. It's so... Oh, there goes my coat. I'm probably going to be sewing little holes to keep my down in my jacket. That definitely goes downhill. That tree is not safe to walk under there. See, it's all, it snapped off there and it's leaning on these. So I don't want to walk over there to walk around. I'm just gonna have to come back tomorrow and Sunday it's supposed to be sunny. So let's see if I can get through here. This tree is solid. Okay, I got through. I'm still not seeing any glass anywhere. That looks like plastic in there. Concrete. That might be something to a bicycle, maybe, in front of that bucket. Don't want to go underneath that in case that falls. Eventually that's going to fall. And I don't want to be here when it does. Oh my. And guess what's underneath that? That looks like an old sign. Ah, <sighs> shoot. Let me go around the other side and look at it. See if it's plastic or metal. <clears throat> Vines everywhere. <sighs> what it looks like, an old sign. Oh, it's a f old Ford tailgate. Still no glass. And another snapped off tree. It looks like a massive axle. See that there? And then there's another one over there. Lots of wiring. Still not finding any glass. Chimney part. There's another chimney part over there. One there. Huh. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to come out here and dig and see what I can find. All right. Let's get out of here. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you find good dumps, sometimes you don't. I mean, it looks like maybe a 50s. What's that? I have no idea what that is. A pot? Upside down pot? 
I can't believe I can't see. I haven't seen a single bottle. Weird. Climb up through here again. I haven't even seen a broken shard of glass. Weird. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come back over here again. Try to get through here without tripping. What's that? Aluminum. It's like a floor van or something. Gas can. old milk crate way over there but that's above ground so I don't know what to think walk over here okay this is the stone wall that we were following from that direction all the way back to here so I'm thinking the stream must have went through here at one point I'm really not seeing anything here. Lots of big stuff. Fiberglass. Fiberglass. That looks almost like the top of a stove. There's some roofing shingles right there. But no glass. This is wild. I don't think I've ever been to a dump before that didn't have any glass. Weird. Okay. Bed springs. And I see plastic in there, like a plastic pool wadded up. So this may not be old enough. Either that or the old is way down deep underneath. Okay. Let's go back out to the back lawn and check the other side of the property. Maybe there's something older somewhere else. I'm in the back 40. Way back. And I'm walking over to this side of the property now. There's the wetlands back there. Walking over to this side, let's see what we can find over here. Well this side, it's quite obvious, these are all younger trees. If you can see that, let's see if I can brighten it up. It's... See, there, we brightened it up. See, this is obviously was pasture or farm field at one time, way, way back. Because there's no big old trees on this side. So we may not find anything over here for a dump. So for a minute there, I thought I heard water running. This might have been another old... Yeah, see, it's all... I bet you this used to be an old stream. It might be a stream only in the spring. And then dries out the rest of the year. Look at these banks and see if we can find anything on this side. Because now I'm getting into a little bit older trees. This is a big property. A lot of walking. And that's what you got to do to find a dump. Find a farm and then walk the perimeter. Maybe they just did that to differentiate their land from everybody else's. Who knows? Well, there's some old, old culverts thrown there. A little bit of dumping. I mean, not a lot. You know, I see my first glass bottle. It's twist up. It's modern. I don't see a date on it. Looks like a Snapple. But those are definitely old concrete culverts. 
from something. So I'm thinking I'm right that this over here used to be a stream. Okay, now we're behind the old silo in the barn. Yep, the moles have been going crazy here. Look at that. Wow. You see that? New construction put inside of old construction. Wow. Look at that. That's wild. Let's see if I can get down there without falling on my face. Okay. Let me use my trekking pole. It might be a little bumpy here for a minute. This definitely used to be a stream bed. Oh, look. <laughs> look at that. You see all the way to the other side? This is old concrete that's been cut with a saw. You can see the aggregate in it. See that? But that is old foundation to the road and they built the road up even higher and higher. So this definitely is an old stream bed. that yeah. might have been a cover at one time or part of a cover you don't see anything old just garbage thrown off the road I gotta try to get back up there again without falling we're gonna go down here climb up this way. This way looks better. That's way lower. So I believe this property goes all the way through the woods. I'm not sure though. So, Well, we didn't find really another dump. I mean, not, not a real one. Just a couple items. But with it being 40 degrees, I had to take advantage of it. You know? We're not going to get too many more of these days out here. I might come back tomorrow or the next day. It's supposed to be sunny. High 30s, low 40s. Might come back and try digging that. See if I can find any glass. But I'm not even seeing shards back there. So, we'll see. Anyhow... Thank you for watching. Um, remember, you got to be patient. You don't always find what you're looking for. And, uh, but don't give up, you know. It's always another day. Another hunt. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.